Hi, my name is Alan Williams. In this video, we're going to have a look at donut charts in Tableau 10. You can find all of my um, business intelligence video tutorials on my website at alanwilliams.ca or right on YouTube. If you go to my website, you will be able to download the attachments. So, for example, here's a video I did uh, in July. If I click on the title, you'll see that there's a, uh, a file that can be downloaded here. So this contains the finished product of this video tutorial. I'll be doing the same with this one as well. Before I start building the um, donut chart, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So here's a really basic dashboard. I've got um, category sales. By the way, I'm using um, the data that I'm using here is from the AdventureWorks database. It's a uh, free database you can download from Microsoft. It's got um, a dimensional model. It's really good for to use for sample data for Tableau and for other types of software. So anyways I've got bikes, components. If I click on components I can see all the different components, the subcategories of components. And if I click on brakes for 2007 we see 45,000 in sales. And then I click on that and I can see sales by individual product. But the centerpiece of this dashboard is the donut chart here which is how we get started so I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a donut chart and this little dashboard in Tableau 10. First thing to notice when I click on the show me button up in the top right you'll see all the different types of built-in charts for Tableau. I'm running version 10.3.2 let me just confirm that yes 10.3.2 and you'll see all of the different charts that are available. There is no donut chart in this um, list, so that's why I'm creating this video for you. First thing I need to do is bring number of records up to rows, and then bring it up there again. Then I need to change both of these to attributes. The next step is under the all marks, I want to change this to pie charts. Next I want to make this bigger, so we have a bigger circle. So all you can see at this point, we just have two attributes, number of records, and two pie charts. Not very much happening at this point. So I want this donut chart to be showing the total sales by product category. So the next step is to go into the first pie chart and I want to bring in product category into color. So now I'm seeing the four different product categories that we have. Just hide the show me. So now I can see the four product categories. Um, I don't believe the sales are exactly the same in each of these categories. So now I have to bring in the sales amount into size. So this should give us a better indication Yes, bikes has the most sales components. Uh, in the tooltip, I don't need to see this number of records. I'm going to go into tooltip here and just remove that line. I just want to see the category name and sales amount, which I am seeing now. If I want the appearance of the pie chart to be a bit different, if I actually want to sort it by sales amount, I can do that. I can go to the upper right hand, click on sort, and then by field, and then we'll pick sales amount, apply and OK. So our pie chart looks a little bit different, sorting it by the sales amount. Next thing I want to do is have the category name show outside of the pie chart. So I bring in category to label. And if I also want to show the sales amount in there, I can just drag sales amount into label as well. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We want this pie chart to be bigger than the one underneath it, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So we'll just go to size, and we'll make this a little bit bigger. That looks good. So now I'm going to go down to my second pie chart. I'm going to change the color to white. Now I'm just going to go to the axis here, right click and say dual axis. It's going to merge these two. So now I've got the one pie chart overlaid on top of the other one so it gives the illusion of having a, uh, a donut shape. And so now I can resize this a bit. I don't need to take up the whole page. That looks good. I'll just change the name of sheet one to category sales. Let's 
and we'll right click on the axis and uncheck show header <clears throat> so now we just have a donut chart with showing us the category name and the total sales so now to build out our dashboard we'll create another sheet we'll call this one subcategory sales by year and we'll just change the color of this one to red So in this worksheet I'm going to bring in the order date into columns, I'm going to bring in the subcategory into rows and sales amount into rows as well. Um, I'm going to change the order, the year of the order date to continuous. So now I've got all the subcategories and the sales amount by year which is what I want for the second part of my dashboard couple things to clean up. I don't need to see sales amount for every subcategory so I right click here and uncheck show header and I don't need this to say subcategory so I can just say hide field labels for rows so this is looking good. Let's add one more worksheet sales by product and we'll just change the color of this to yellow so I'm going to bring in my product name into rows. I'm going to bring in my sales amount into color and also sales amount into text. And now I'm going to sort. I can actually just go to show me here. I want to have highlight table. And I want to sort this from the highest sales to the lowest sales. Let's just make this a little bit wider. So now I've got a sales by product worksheet, subcategory sales by year, and I've got my category sales donut chart. So let's bring this together in a quick little dashboard. Let's create a new dashboard by clicking down here. I'll just call this donut dashboard. And then we're going to bring in the category sales. subcategory sales we're going to put to the right of it. Now we'll bring in sales by product underneath the donut chart and we'll get rid of these. We don't need these over here. Okay. Now we just have to create a few uh, basic dashboard actions to tie everything together. So we'll go into Dashboard and Actions. We'll create a new one. We'll say it is a filter action. We're going to call it Subcategory. And the source sheet will be Category Sales, which is our donut chart. The target sheet will be subcategory sales by year and we'll say exclude all values if we clear the selection so if we go back to category sales and we have everything selected we don't want to show subcategory sales by year only if one of the categories is selected so we'll say okay the second action we're going to create we'll tie in the subcategory sales by year to the sales by product so we're going to add an action here filter we'll call it Call it products. And in this case, we want to have subcategory sales by year be the source sheet, and we want sales by product to be the target, and we'll say exclude all values as well to have the same behavior and say OK and OK. So let's see if these works. If I click on, OK, I'm clicking on these categories, but nothing has changed. I made a mistake in my dashboard actions, so I have to go back up to dashboard actions. You see I have it run on menu. I don't want it to be run on menu. I want to be have it, sorry, I want to double click this to edit it. I want it to be on select. Okay, and the same one with this. I want the run action to be on select. Okay, so now if I click on category, I'm just seeing mountain bikes. I click on mountain bikes for 2006. I'm seeing all of the sales. If I double click on the donut chart here again, to show all of the categories. I'm not seeing any subcategory sales by year. So let's just have a look at components. I'm seeing all the components. I want to see mountain frames in 2007. I can see all the mountain bike frames in 2007. 
sorted by the total sales by the product name. So there you have it, a brief tutorial on how to create a donut chart in Tableau 10 and integrate it into a basic dashboard. Thank you for watching. And once again, this was Alan Williams. AlanWilliams.ca is my website where you'll see um, all the videos I've created, Tableau and Business Objects, and also some Joomla videos as well. Thanks for watching.